Friend, I want to do today's show for you, for your mind, your intellect, your soul, your discernment. I mean, you know what's in the news. If you're a news follower, as I am, this show is dedicated to bringing you the news, but, but also bringing you commentary about the news. So, so take your pick. We've got the learner emails suddenly disappearing and the IRS obviously involved in a huge cover-up, probably because it goes so far up into the White House that it could prove a worse scandal than Watergate with Richard Nixon. So there's that. Then you have the children that are pouring in over the border in Texas from Mexico. It appears to me that Obama is trying to create a humanitarian crisis, so we've got to act. Maybe he's poised to use his executive order. Uh, today you had Rupert Murdoch, the head of Fox TV, saying that we, Congress must act now, we can't wait, and how horrible it was that Eric Cantor lost his seat to this anti-immigration person. You've got Baghdad, perhaps uh, poised to fall to the hands of Islamic terrorists, or if not, then is the U.S. going to be working with a terrorist nation, Iran, to stop them? Go down the list. The militant homosexuals continuing to prevail in court judges, tyrannical judges, overturning laws regarding the sanctity of marriage, children being murdered by abortion, the health care crisis, the debt. There's so much that we could talk about, but I, I realized as I was talking to my wife this morning, the way that I could best serve you is to talk to you about your internal reaction to these things. I'm going to be honest with you. I have hatred. I do. I have genuine, unadulterated, I pray, pure hatred for a lot of what's going on. And as my wife and I were talking, we thought, well, well there are a lot of people right now who don't want to be haters. Do you understand what I'm saying? They don't want to be labeled as haters. And so, as we go forward on this program, The Voice of Resistance, I have decided that we are going to use this program a little bit more for the formation of the conscience and the souls of the viewer so that people think the way they should think and feel, therefore, the way they should feel and act the way they should act. Okay? What we think will help determine what we feel, and together those two things will help determine what we do, how we act. Because the fact of the matter is there's a lot of great programs on radio and on television, especially on radio, that will bring you the news that is not filtered through the politically correct of CBS, NBC, ABC, CNBC, CNN, and even sometimes Fox, okay? There's... There's some good, there's some awesome radio shows really raising a voice. Rush Limbaugh, Michael Savage, uh, the, the Mark Levin. There's many, many shows that are really hitting the ball well on assessing the evils that are destroying the country. But the problem I see is that the body of Christ from all denominations, those of us making up the body of Christ, that we're sick. Our, the body is sick, and it's not reacting properly to the evils that are going around. It's almost like our immune system is shut down. We've been overrun with an infection. The infections of pluralism or of sensitivity or of tolerance or you don't want to be a hater. And so if someone says to you, you know, you're in a conversation at work or you're in a conversation with extended family or your neighbor, and they look at you and say, boy, that's a lot of hatred. Or are you a hater? How does that make you feel inside? When you hear about the reaction that the people of the hometown of uh, Bo Birdall, the sergeant who we swapped for a bunch of terrorists, and the sergeant who evidently was a deserter, when they had to cancel that celebration in his town, the lady who was putting it together made these disparaging remarks about all the anger, talking about people being haters, filled with hatred. 
And that accusation makes a lot of good people recoil and say, well, I don't want to be a hater. I don't want to be a hater. I'm not a hater. I'm a lover. Show me the love. I don't want to show you the hate. I want to show you the love. Well, what I want to discuss with you when we come back, ready? This is a big secret. Hatred is a family value.